If you're part of the Trump resistance, look out because your personal information is not going to be kept private. So look at the results of this case from this week. Uh, this is The Intercept. Defying First Amendment concerns, a judge in Washington, D.C. trial court has upheld a controversial search warrant that would allow the government to sift through data from a major protest website. Prosecutors allege that the website, disruptj20.org, was used to coordinate a riot on Inauguration Day, which led to property damage in multiple businesses in downtown Washington. But the vast majority of the actions and protests the site coordinated were peaceful. It's unclear what connection, if any, the site had to violence. Robert E. Morin, the chief judge of the D.C. Superior Court, ruled in favor of the government. But Morin added additional protections, ordering that the government must, before executing its search, file special affidavits describing its procedures. I'm going to be supervising their search, he said. The data that investigators don't identify as criminal evidence would be filed with the court and placed under seal, according to the ruling. Morn forbade the investigators from sharing that data with other government agencies. Okay, so um, this is a watered-down version of exactly what the government wanted. So this website, you know how many visitors they had? Over a million. About 1.3 million. And what they said, the government said, well, there were riots on Inauguration Day, and these guys are part of the resistance, and their whole website is about the resistance. And we think the people who are linked to the website, that they did this. So, here's a warrant. We got a warrant. Now we get to search anybody and everybody and all their private information from the website. There's over a million people. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And that's the case that their lawyers made. They were like, whoa, there's over a million people we're talking about here. You, If you get a warrant, you need a specific warrant to search a specific person, place, or thing. You didn't do that. You got a warrant that's a general warrant that says, I'm going to get the private information on over a million fucking people. So what does this dumbass judge do? He goes, well, okay, come on, let's be reasonable here. This is like the old trick, like, oh, you, let's be centrist. Yeah, but centrist between the Democrats and the Republicans is just pretty far right wing because the Democrats are center right and the Republicans are far right. <laughs> so you're pretty solidly right wing if you're a centrist. This is the same shit. Let's, uh, let's split down the middle. Come on, guys. So the government wants to search over one million people with one warrant. And uh, the, the lawyers for the website say, no, you need a more specific warrant to search specific people. You can't look at everybody in the website. Well, how about this? We let them search, but I'll oversee it as the judge. Some, sometimes I, I don't know how people can possibly be this stupid. Like, that judge is an idiot. <laughs> like, really? So now, uh, now a warrant to search over a million people is totally justifiable. Because you're gonna oversee it. And make sure they don't cross any uh, boundaries. Please. What they're trying to do, this is the government keeping track of uh, the resistance, anti-Trump people. So in other words, it's for ideological reasons they're cracking down. You don't agree with the administration. You're a potential problem. How about we keep your information on deck here just in case we need it? That's what this is. Tracking you if you commit thought crimes. That's what this is. What evidence are you going to find anyway on a fucking website uh, about riots that happened on Inauguration Day? And by the way, again, yeah, you know, there were, the number of riots were infinitesimally small compared to the people who were there and the people who visited this website. So what are you going to do? You're going to go in there and find somebody say, okay, John, let's go commit a riot at uh, 1037 on this street in Washington, D.C. It's not going to fucking happen. They just want to keep track of the people who disagree with the administration. This would be fucked up if it was Obama trying to track conservatives, and it's fucked up when it's Trump trying to track people who are part of the resistance. So, what a ridiculous decision from this judge. This judge should be embarrassed because you've been duped. You've been had. See, as long as, so the government makes a claim and they just insist that their claim is reasonable and then you met them halfway. But their claim is not even close to reasonable. Hey, there's a disrupt website, a resistance website, and some people committed a riot. 
So now give me the information on everybody who's ever gone to that website, anybody who's uh, taken part in that website. That's nowhere near reasonable. The answer to that is a hard no. You want a warrant on a specific person who you think was involved with the riot? Present the evidence to me, and then I'll go ahead and grant you that warrant. But you didn't do that. You want a general warrant, and this judge basically granted it because he's a dunce.